Hi Libra, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So Libra, it seems that you just want this never-ending cycle of troubles and depressive moods and depressive situations and and uh, just a lot of challenges that were accumulated over time you just want this time to be over with so you can move on to a phase in your life where things seem much more smoother and in um, resemblance to the beauty you see in the world, to the, to the possibilities you do trust and you do believe with all your heart that you can achieve. But it seems that then in the concrete reality, things are not quite as beautiful, things are not quite as harmonic, as uh, balanced as you would like. Because there is an ending of the cycle here definitely happening in terms of especially uh, the saturation of your mind. So if you have been feeling depressed, if you have been feeling tired, if you have been feeling just overwhelmed by things you cannot change, things you cannot repair, uh, it's time to really look at the road so far that you have taken because by looking at that road, you will realize that there were also some blessings happening there, but the weight that you are putting into situations can be um, can be more focused on the negative than on the positive. And here in the cards, it's very interesting. You have three cards talking about endings and closure. So you have two tens in the world card representing really the end of a phase of your life, the complete ending of a phase of your life, and. It's not easy to go through this process as endings are a wrapping up of a lot of uh, issues over time, sometimes issues that we don't even have an active memory uh, of and we don't remember where are all of those emotions and, and, and thoughts coming. And it can be sometimes hard to cope and to deal with. But if you allow this beautiful rebirth to happen, which the Ten of Swords is implying. It seems a very negative card when you look at it. It seems that is a very uh, defeat, defeated card. But if you look at it, um, it's talking about the need to let things unfold as they are. Let things go. Let the defeat or the apparent defeat of situations, things you perceive where you have failed, where others have failed you, where situations didn't go the way you expected them, you expected them to go. Just let it all um, resolve itself on their own. Take care of yourself. Take care of uh, nurturing your own mind, nurturing your own sense of uh, closure and releasing yourself energetically from those uh, past situations that are still troubling you and giving uh, a lot of weight on your on your back, weight on your sense of uh, freedom and release from all that you cannot change. This is also, uh, as this is the main opportunity, this is also a lot about acceptance, acceptance of your story, acceptance of all those times that you believe that you could have done better or that someone could have done better or that you could have uh, cho uh, uh, chosen another way and didn't. Try as possible to release yourself from these thoughts of what ifs because th those questions mark, those type of question marks at this time are not going to promote the best results in your energy as what you are called to do is to embrace the closure, embrace the ending of the book, and you're going to start writing the new one. It's not even an ending of a chapter. As the advice is the world card, is let things come full circle, let things reveal themselves to you, the lesson, the, the purpose, the meaning, the significance, 
but you have to embrace it. You have to look at your story all the with all the with the wholeness of it and accept the beautiful parts of it, the ugly parts of it, the shadow parts of it, the light parts of it. We are always constantly dancing here with these two attributes. And as as we as we would wish that things would all be rainbows and unicorns and pink colored, sometimes life is, is, is not like that because that's not how we grow, that's not how we expand, that's not how we mature ourselves. And also with this advice, it's very important for you to understand the maturity, the upgrade of your soul that all of those hard lessons brought you. And it's like you're, you can have an opportunity if you embrace as well the challenge to say farewell with a lot of love and forgiveness and compassion to yourself and to others that are involved in your story and circumstances that happen in your story that you cannot change that you cannot erase but you can but you can and you should to your own sense of emotional completion and happiness you should integrate in your being by accepting those parts by um, not putting so much so much judgment and weight into things and seeing them as a part of your beautiful rainbow of story and i know this is not an easy thing to do we are very attached to feelings we are very attached to thoughts we are very conditioned to believe that uh, our truth is uh, our being and it's not and so when things don't go in an easy road when things don't happen or end in a very positive note we are not taught to see the positive in it it takes maturity it takes time it takes a lot of embrace and healing and forgiveness to happen to embrace the 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 completion of your world and it's telling you that despite the fact that you may believe that this is a very dark or this was a very dark period in your life there was the there there was this beautiful two shades which is so beautiful to see here i believe that this cycle that it's ending or those situations that are resolving themselves or are in the process of it they both carried beautiful light and, and beautiful darkness they, they they both carried a lot of um a lot of this uh, paradoxical feeling of how can things be so beautiful and yet so tragic tragically painful and this is something that you are learning as well is to embrace that sometimes those experiences put you put you closer to your um to your to your being and to what really happiness means to you and being the challenge the ten of cups the challenge is for you to see the happiness the challenge is for you to see the love to see the rainbow to believe that the rainbow will come after the rain and of course that with this card it's hard to see the beauty it's hard to 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 to, to imagine even that that rainbow will come but be assured that it will as the world is confirming and this is the advice you are protected in whatever you are going through if, even if it means that you have to be a little bit more isolated on your own where you cannot easily express or engage in situations as easily as you would before do not pressure yourself let the rebirth happen let the closure happen let the ending happen let the beginnings come when they when they should come and this will create as well um, uh, an understanding of timing, an understanding of the importance of having uh, a certain degree of trust in divine timing and in the patience and the cyclical um, events when everything happens when you are ready, not when you want to. And right now, you are ready to forgive, you are ready to uh, accept, you are ready to uh, release and be reborn in, into your own mental states. And when you, you are reborn on that type of a fresh mind um, reset, as that was the energy for May, for you in the overall reading, 
when your mind gets that clarity and that boom and the new beginning in terms of feeling much more lighter in your mind, you will go back to that place of harmony and beauty, but one that it's not superficial, one that it's um, founded in real depth of understanding of that light and shadow um, attributes. So Libra, I hope you have a great time. Thank you so much for listening, liking, and subscribing, and hopefully we'll see each other soon.